Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another BANG THE LOVE VIDEO! Alright, now that I got the, uh, energetic intro into here. Hi, how are you? I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, so... I want to talk about... I, I want to talk about some of the most disgusting people you can possibly be. A gay per- nah, I'm just joking. A pedophile. A pedophile is- it, To be a pedophile is- it, It's absolutely- It's absolutely disgusting, and there's no- There's no- Excuses. Uh, like- you can't, you can't say, oh, you can't fuck a 13-year-old when you're 20 and say, oh, I'm sorry, guys, I was just in a really dark place. I'm sorry. No! You don't, you, you don't, you don't get to come back from that. Y you don't. At all. Ever. And, and it's, it's disgusting that some people can be allowed to. It, like, look at Mini Lad. Now, I used to, I used, I never watched Mini Lad himself, but I watched the Vanoss crew. I used to s sneak watch, because, you know, they were cussing and shit. So I'd have to watch them when my parents weren't home or something. And it was, it was great. It was great. And now, seeing all this come out about Mini Lad, where not only was he soliciting minors, and talking about how fat his dick is, which, I mean, look at the dude, he's definitely got a micro penis. He's very insecure about the size of his penis. But, not only that, but the most disgusting part of this whole situation with him is the, uh, the story that this, uh, victim of his, uh, came out about. Uh, she was talking about how uh, they went to some sort of, like, meetup, or... I think it was, like, called Camp 17, which... Stupid name. Uh, he doesn't even... He doesn't even like people, uh, who are older than 17, so... Uh, I mean, if Mini Lad was in charge, he'd probably name it Camp 12, or Camp 10, or Camp Negative 2, because he likes people who are still in the womb. Uh... Uh, she, she said that... He was all, all close and, and all, like, a little bit too, too close and too, too touchy. And, and he, he told some of the girls that were very young, because, I mean, obviously his viewer base is like little fucking children, which is still pretty fucking horrible because he's a pedophile. But, uh, I digress. Uh, he was telling them that they're very cute and pretty, which, I mean, I guess, depending on how you say it, can just be a little bit weird, but well-meaning, but, uh, with context, yeah, he was just being a fucking creep, and he even offered to take a picture, the, the girl did not, did not ha come up with this idea, he, he came up with the idea of, uh, three of the Vanoss crew, uh, him being in the middle, cause, obviously, uh, holding her up for a picture, like, like, carrying her. Uh, obviously he was in the middle because he'd get to touch her ass, obviously. Well, I haven't seen the picture that they took, but I'd assume, I'd just assume, but it's just disgusting. He, and that's the most disgusting part of his whole situation. That is a case where do not let him come back on YouTube, ever. You know, these people... I will never forgive them, and I will never trust them again, but they can become better people through therapy and shit, but, uh, but, you know, you never get to come back onto YouTube after that, not after what he did. He was a disgusting pedo, piece of garbage, and he looks exactly like you'd think a pedo would look like. Fucking net beard over here, looking like he just came out of his basement after spending 24 hours playing World of Warcraft shit building up in his pants because he can't take any breaks because he'll get demoted or I, I don't I don't know how World of Warcraft works. No way I was thinking of Clash of Clans. Hey guys I, hey guys I uh I kinda have to take a shit right now. I, I can't I can't be part of the clan war. Listen dude
I know you have to shit, but you'll get demoted if you if you don't partake in this battle. Okay. Not very funny. <laughs> okay. So uh, another situation. Uh, I think her name is Zoe Laverne. Laverne. Weird name. She doesn't even spell Zoe right. Zoe is supposed to be spelled Z O E Y, but she spelled it Z O E. It's like it's like Zo. It's like the female counterpart for Joe. Zo. Whatever. Uh, she was nineteen, I think. Uh, pretty sure. And she was uh with a thirteen-year-old. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Pretty disgusting. She was with a thirteen-year-old, and there is there is video evidence of her like, like tongue tongue punching his mouth, just like, <laughs> it just with a thirteen-year-old, and she has denied ever having sex. But I wouldn't doubt it. Even it, it, let's say hypothetically she did not have sex with him, she should still go to jail for molestation. And she's not going to jail. She's not in jail, and it fucking baffles me how she can get away with it. She has publicly admitted to the relationship, and she tried saying, I never, uh, he always consented to everything I did. I did not rape him or whatever. Mm, children cannot consent. That's just a fact. Children cannot consent at all. And they just can't. Uh, legally, they cannot, and biologically, they do not have the capacity in their brain to make an informed and educated and good decision on whether or not they want to have sex with you. So, I hope she goes to jail, but this drama was, like, months ago, and she's still not in jail, so I doubt she will. But I wish she would. Uh, uh, the pyro, the pyrocynical situation. Now, a lot of uh, there's a lot of conflicting statements, but I think the general consensus is that Pyro did not know the age when he was sending this weird furry roleplay shit. Uh, so, uh, in my opinion, his worst mistakes were, one, being a furry, because that's pretty fucking weird. Uh, two, uh, not asking the age when he first met him. But I think I might be wrong, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I, I think they met in 18 plus uh, Discord service, so. But, yeah, he he sent a whole bunch of, like, furry porn smut shit talking about how he wants to inhale his farts, which, pretty pretty weird, but, you know, not criminal, just really weird. But he was sending it to... When, when he was 19 or 20, he was sending it to a 15-year-old, but uh, he did not know the age. And people like to say, oh, oh, he, he sent his age multiple times. Well, those times uh, were times where Pyro was not on Discord. I think he had, like, deleted his shit or whatever or, or something. Wait, no, no, I'm, I'm stupid. No, uh, in the Discord, he sent, uh, he, he sent, you know, furry shit, and that was in, like, fucking May or something, I don't know. May of 2016? I don't know. I think 2016. But, uh, and, uh, Ivory is the guy's name that he was talking to uh ivory sent his age in like june or something basically what i'm trying to say is he stopped sending furry sexual shit after he sent the age and a lo uh, uh, something else that people like to say is that oh oh pyro was following ivory on twitter and on twitter ivory had said multiple times that they were minor well the thing is Pyro is known, well, not known, that's not what he's known for, but he, he's infamously always getting removed off Twitter. Always. It's sort of like an inside joke with Pyro's fans, that he, it, Twitter fucking hates him. And in the time, 
like in the time periods where Ivory was frequently talking about how he was a minor, uh, Pyro was removed off Twitter. So, with all all that stuff, I personally believe, uh, Pyro was not a one not a pedo and two, uh, innocent. Sure, what he did was weird and dumb, didn't ask for the age and shit, but innocent. Now, on to our fourth case. Uh, Call Me Carson. Now, I don't watch Call Me Carson. I was meaning to get into his like whole Minecraft stuff, but I, I never got around to it. I prefer the other Call Me, Call Me Kevin, great YouTuber. Uh... Praise be our Lord and Savior, Jim Pickens. Hallowed be his enemy's name. Whatever. <laughs> Blessed be his name. That's what I was trying to say. I'm a I'm an Iron Man fan, so Hallowed Be Thy Name is a great, great song. Whatever. Uh, uh, call me Carson. He was... when it, This was two years ago, I think it was. He was 19, and he was messaging a 16-year-old. Uh, no, no, 17-year-old, not 16, 17. Uh, he was messaging a 17-year-old messaging a on Discord, all sexually-like and all this shit, and one, that that's a two-year difference. Two years. Now, there are high, high school, uh, high, high school relationships that are, that are like that. That, that's not that bad. Uh, I, my main problem with what he did was, uh, was he used, he sort of used the fact that she was a fan of his content as a way to, you know, get a nut off, or, you know, uh, get nudes or, or whatever. Sexual gratification, basically. And that's my main problem, because I, I, I see that as pretty scummy, but the thing is, uh, he, he has been very depressed and shit, and very, like, not in his right mind for a while, uh, and n not saying that excuses him, but that, that's a reason. Now, this whole, whole Call Me Carson thing, it, it's still, like, developing, and I'm sort of on the fence, uh, because I think he said that he would stop messaging people or messaging her to his friends, and he didn't follow that, you know, what he said, or whatever, I don't know, it, it's just, it's a weird situation, uh, but, it, it's not a full-on pedophilia thing, like, by definition, that is not pedophilia, pedophilia is the sexual, or is sexual feelings are like, being attracted to actual children, and I don't think I need to describe to you why 17 years old, one year off of being a full-on, full-fledged, able-to-vote adult, I don't think I need to, to, to explain to you why 17 years old is not a child. But... I think his main problem was, one, he got nudes, which I don't, I, I, the laws are sort of inconsistent on, on that. I don't know if he can get into hot water because of that. And two, like I said, the power difference. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, those were four cases of, of, you know, well, two, two cases of definite pedophilia uh, one of a man being innocent, and one of, I, I don't, I, I haven't made my mind up yet. And that's, that's the, that's, that's the video. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. So, uh, have a good day. Pretty cool Megadeth poster, isn't it? Got a Randy Rhodes sticker right there, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. <laughs> uh, so... You, you have a very nice day. Let's wait 10 seconds because this is about to be a 15 minute video. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Woo! 15!
15 minutes. Longest video yet. Woo! Yeah, baby. Uh, so, uh, yeah. It's really, this is probably my worst outro yet. So, uh, bye, bros.